it. Okay, just stop, dude. You are just the worst hero in this game. You're a bad mid, you're a bad offlaner, and you have the most annoying voice lines in history. Hey guys, boy here, and today we're going to talk about a misunderstood hero. A hero that Slax hates, and that I hate, until I saw Ice 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 play recently. You see, offlane Wind Ranger is something that I despise, but he might have found a way to play the hero that doesn't completely suck. You guys remember my Enigma video, where I talked about Eleven's 19 and 1 run with Enigma? The secret for that to happen is the same reason Ice can do so well with Wind Ranger, and it is Sage's Mask. This item is one of the best items in the game right now. People. I used to buying Blightstone, no talismans on the hero because they want to CS with her, but she has a 150 damage nuke on a super low cooldown that can CS and harass the enemy at the same time. Why even bother with your right click damage this early? That's the basics of what Ice is doing with the hero. Most carries at the moment are melee heroes, and so when they draw aggro, they have the muscle memory to deny their own creeps, but against Wind Ranger, it's really hard to do that. The result is your enemy not denying a single range creep or taking a lot of damage in the attempt to do so. Slex talks about the bias that Wind Ranger players forget about their missed skill shots, but I think he overrates that aspect of the hero a little bit. Wind Ranger, at least as an offlaner, trades super well early, especially when she has this huge inbuilt mana region. A good tip when trading versus heroes that are running away is using trees that will block their vision to hit your power shots. Trading against Wind Ranger is costly, and because she has Wind Run as both a slow and an escape, it allows her to bait enemies really easily. Ice 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 is really good at using players' muscle memory to deny creeps like here to dish high damage power shots in the laning stage. Very few heroes have this amount of damage from afar and are also this hard to kill, and it's the main reason Wind Ranger is strong right now. He even gets a kill because of that power shot. Watch how even though Wyvern is low in HP, he gets close and only uses Wind Run when the first tower hit is about to come. This maximizes how much time she can dive, and then he uses the fact that PL wants to help to set up a power shot that finishes the support and hits PL at the same time. Because Wind Ranger pushes the lane a lot with her nuke, even without damage items, she becomes a pain in the ass to lane against because she can just attack melee heroes under tower over and over again, and even when they have high armor, she will eventually punish those heroes with more power shots when they go for creeps. This is really the bread and butter of the hero, rather than trying to harass when you feel like it, just go for a power shot that gets you a creep at the same time the enemy wants to get one or deny you one. And then make sure you're always getting something out of your mana that, because of your build, you have tons of. Because of the constant harass, he eventually puts Terror Blade in a tough spot and kills him. Wind Round not only slows him down, but allows you to power shot from close range, making it really hard for anyone to dodge. In that same game, the kill gives him a javelin, and watch what happens when Terrorblade goes back to the lane. The same approach is used, he walks up to the Terrorblade, waiting the first tower hit to almost get to him to pop Windrun, and because he got the third point of Windrun, he can pretty much take no damage as he finds cover in the trees, and not only he kills the Terrorblade before he dies, but this was a metamorphosis usage wasted. This Terrorblade is completely and utterly crushed now, and almost every meta carry in the game can have the same fate. It's not like there's a lot of counters to this. In case the carry recognizes that you have Javelin and just TP to the other side of the map, this hero has good tower pressure and like a good offlaner can take an early tower when given the chance, just because the creeps die really quickly and you also have focus fire on the tower. The build Ice Size goes for is almost always Javelin into Tranquils, 1, MKB. Why Tranquils instead of something like Face Boots? Well, this would force you into some sort of HP region item or bottle, which is expensive and almost no item that gives HP region benefits Wind Ranger greatly. Tranquil's move speed synergize really well with her kit, and the item is super cheap and reliable. Javelin is obviously a great item on her, and the reason you go MKB straight up instead of something like Maelstrom is simple. You already have so much mana region because of the talent and your Sage's Masks that you don't need to care about Maelstrom's wave clear. Not only the item got nerfed a ton, you just get much more DPS with MKB without needing anything from Maelstrom. The DPS from the item is 60% higher than what Maelstrom offers, and that's not counting the fact that you're already dealing with evasion from a really early stage denying butterfly from a lot of heroes. A really important trick about Tranquils that Ice Size constantly goes for is swapping the item when he's jungling to maximize his move speed, but also to make sure he doesn't have to spend Wind Run during the jungling to keep the HP region going. Because of the extreme mobility, Ice 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 is able to push lanes, force rotations, and then fight in the opposite side of the map, like here, 
where he has 550 move speed because of Trankos during the entirety of Windrun, being able to catch up to the Venomancer after luring Venge to be top and getting a kill. In terms of talents, the build is clearly tailored towards maxing mana region early to maximize wave clearing. It's not rocket science, why so I would get attack range at level 15, considering that you're rushing an MKB with this build almost always, and at level 20, the focus fire reduction just seems better most of the time. Shackle Shot is inherently unreliable, whereas focus fire isn't, especially when you're a core and can build big items. In terms of items, he rarely deviates from the MKB BKB build since you become unstoppable pretty much, your damage is already really high and so all you really need to care about is not dying. This is just a couple of examples of MKB Wind Ranger exploding really tanky heroes. Guys, thank you a lot for watching, commenting, and subscribing. If you're interested in coaching, make sure to DM me on Twitter to get the rates. If you're playing Dota because of COVID-19 or because of the Compendium, check our Discord channel, we have a lot of people there. Maybe if you're afraid of playing Dota by yourself, you can find someone from your region and, you know, just get better games and better pubs. Also, if you want to help this channel out, make sure to check our Patreon rewards, maybe something that interests you. And finally, check my Twitch stream. I do stream there from time to time. Thank you a lot. Bye.